Hi, I'm Lori Montre. Today I wanted to tell, talk to you a little bit about what does it mean to be trauma-informed. Over the last few weeks, I've been sharing a lot of information about the effect of trauma and chronic stress on your biology, your nervous system, and inadvertently your health and weight loss journey. Trauma and chronic stress is something that nearly everyone in our modernized world has dealt with at least some point in their life. It's just a fact of life. So as myself and other providers are helping people achieve their goals, we need to understand how that chronic stress and trauma has affected the people that we're working with. Now, the coaching that I do with people is trauma informed. So in this video, I want to go over just a little bit about what that means. Basically, trauma informed care involves um, a broad understanding of common responses to trauma and chronic stress. Providers need to understand how trauma can affect treatment, presentation, engagement, and the outcome of behavioral services. To start, a trauma-informed provider should have a correct understanding of what trauma really is. Of course, trauma can be things um, that we would all agree are really awful. An awful accident, um, abuse, witnessing violence, living through a natural disaster. However, the other thing to understand about trauma is that it can also be very insidious can occur over time in an accumulated way, meaning it can be a series of seemingly little things that occur to us that aren't life-threatening but affect us nonetheless. It could be having parents who are angry at each other all the time, lacking an attuned and secure caregiver, being bullied at school, or even living in an environment where we aren't allowed to be our authentic selves. Now, another aspect of being trauma-informed is to understand the effects of trauma and chronic stress um, the fact that they continue on well after the experience passes. Even though a person has moved on from their childhood home, has gotten through a stressful divorce, or whatever caused the changes in their physiology, it very often does not mean that their physiology goes back to its natural state. Their bodies hang on to the threat and remain in a state of protection or a state of survival. The nervous system, the brain stem, the adrenals, the gut, the immune system, the cardiovascular system may all still be telling the person that there's still danger. So when that's the case, a person is going to have a much harder time making the changes that they want to. In my work, this fact means that people is, are going to have a much harder time changing their patterns with food. And this is true for a number of reasons. When food is a coping mechanism that helps the person feel more calm and regulated, it's very hard to stop using that mechanism if the person's system is telling them that they aren't safe. They'll have the felt need for food more often than a person who is not living with stuck stress and trauma. Furthermore, breaking old habits is very difficult for a person living with an altered nervous system and biology. Building new habits takes effort and conscious choice, and a person living in the survival response is already living in overwhelm and shutdown. So adding in the healthy habits necessary to obtain health is simply more than a person can take in many cases. Furthermore, successful weight loss requires a change in mindset, which is also very difficult when a person is living with trauma and stress-affected nervous system. A trauma-informed provider needs to have knowledge and experience with respect to how a person has been affected by the trauma and stress that they've encountered. I personally feel that taking the time to become trained in this field has made me a much better practitioner, and I look forward to bringing this to the people that I serve. One of the things that I am most excited about is a six-week course that focuses on how to regulate the nervous system and support the biology after uh, trauma and accumulated stress. This course is the right mix of education, integration work to build a strong foundation upon which their other change work can happen. The course is about to begin in October and I strongly recommend it for anyone who has struggled in their weight loss efforts. Um, this course is a total game changer. Even people who have been trying for years or decades will be able to reach their goals after strengthening their nervous system and healing their biology from the effects of trauma and chronic stress. 
So I hope you will join me. There's a link to the course um, below, and you can also sign up for my Freedom Channel, which is a site dedicated to having a free and nourishing relationship with food and living a life of authenticity. When you sign up, you'll receive free access to a mini course on emotional eating, blogs, more videos, and other resources to help you on your journey towards freedom.